So we're here today with the Hisense 50H7GB. It's a 50 inch 4K smart TV that's currently exclusive at Walmart. And you can find it for about 600 bucks, which is just a crazy price. It's easily the cheapest 4K TV right now. So you don't need me to tell you that when you're paying this little for something that typically costs thousands of dollars, you're losing out on a few things. Obviously this TV is sharp, it's got a lot of clarity, but there's other aspects of TV picture quality like contrast, the range between brights and darks, color richness and color accuracy. This TV doesn't outright fail in those categories, but it's certainly not amongst the best TVs we've seen this year. So one of the reasons this TV is as cheap as it is is because there's some hardware that's just sort of missing. We found during testing is that while most 4K TVs coming out this year can play 4K at a certain speed, this TV actually cuts that speed in half. In terms of TVs, that affects mostly motion smoothing, things like sports, uh, action movies. It simply caps out and starts to choke up a little sooner than most of the 4K TVs you'll buy. If you're upgrading from a 1080p set, unless you bought the cheapest possible 1080p set you could find, it's gonna look better than this one does. So if you're just looking for a really good TV, you can find tons of great, really full featured 1080p TVs for about $600 what you're paying for is 4K. And one thing to keep in mind if you are interested in this TV is while you can watch some 4K content on sources like Netflix and Amazon Instant Video, most content that you're watching is not in 4K and it's not gonna be in 4K for a while. Cable and satellite feeds are just now starting to get up to 1080p. And while 4K Blu-ray is on its way, that's going to come alongside a whole bunch of new hardware upgrades that you're also gonna to have to buy into. The ironic thing about this Hisense and the real takeaway at the end of the day is that at $600, you're clearly not getting a premium experience, but some of what's in this TV is outdated to the point where you're gonna to wanna to upgrade it in like one or two years. And if you can afford to upgrade it in one or two years, you probably don't need to buy the cheapest thing on the market. Considering that you can get something like Vizio's 50 inch M series, which is also 4K and smart, for just a couple hundred dollars more, and it's much more suited for future 4K content, we're not very wowed by this Hisense. 